How's it going, YouTube? It's been a while. Uh, as always, been busy. Um, what I'm getting ready to do today, I'll bring you along. It involves this piece of machinery right here. My neighbor's tractor. So, yeah, I'll show you what I'm getting ready to do. This is an old horse carriage building. Uh, 1800s, I think, is what they said. Uh, it's a pretty rough shape. So, I've already pulled all the tracks and stuff for the original sliding doors. Uh, here's where they kept the horses. Right here, all dirt floor. Whole roof is shot on it. This is actually the better half of the roof. But uh, this is where they kept the actual buggies right here. And then somebody put a temple on here at one time. I don't know if it was a factory. But uh, this is where they kept, I guess they kept their milk and stuff in here. I'm not really sure what, this is like a water trough or milk deal or has a metal liner inside of it, all galvanized. So, but we're going to say goodbye. The real part of the building is already stripped out from all the stuff that she wanted to save out of it. So I'm going to push it over. Say bye to my beautiful wife. Oops, All right. Back. So, if you want, film me. It's already recording, and we'll get to pushing. I'm not very good at this. You know this. We'll just keep the phone sideways and film it on me. We've already uh, established this. Why are you looking over there? I'm over here. I have the phone at the building. Yeah, why are you at the building? I'm over here. Okay, fine. I guess I'm going <laughs> to pose towards you. I don't know what I'm I doing. see what's going on. I told you this wasn't my forte. <laughs> Now the tractor's not going to start. Uh, the things that he loves to do. Pretty sure he loves this.
Wonderful phone. Now tell us, mister, how do you plan on cleaning this up? With the tractor, scooping it up at a bit of time. Guys, I, I don't we're not going to record this the whole time because we'll be here a while. <laughs> the whole hole went down that side there and the whole thing just whack. You glad I did my car? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting this phone hole to fall out. I thought I, mean, I saw you doing it, I was like, oh, I gotta get my car moved because I actually came out, like I said, I came out here the last night to move it. <laughs> here you go. Here's your eight minute. That hurt. Okay, Ellie. Yeah, the tire. Oh, better not have oh, it hurt you. <sighs> okay, we'll come back. <laughs> okay, so here's where we're at. The building's knocked down, as you've seen. I've already started cleaning up. Got all this area here cleaned up. Everything that fell here in the front cleaned up so she can get in out of her garage. Uh, took out a lot of the roof on this section here. A lot of this is being done by hand because we're going to go ahead and probably save a lot of these blocks since none of them got destroyed. So the biggest thing is getting this roof cut up. But this is already, well, the first load technically didn't count because the truck was already half full. So technically this will be load number one. I can come around on this side and dump some on it. And I can still put some here in the back. But I got to run off and go do some other stuff. So this job will have to return to it when we get back to it. All right, thanks. Hey, everybody. I'm back. A uh, few days had gone by since we took that garage down. Got it all cleaned up. Um, I'm not over on the property yet, but I'll show you what we've got going on. This is the tractor we use to tear down the garage, and I did a boo-boo. I bumped the side of my truck and cracked the hood and broke the headlight, and uh, I booed it up. And I got a leaking hydraulic hose here, so I'm going to replace the hydraulic hose and see what it's going to cost me for that headlight. This ain't my tractor, so I broke it, I'm going to fix it. And then... We come down to the nitty gritty. I ran out of uh, landfill clothes on me, so my buddy grabbed his trailer. So we piled it plumb full. So we're getting ready to go, all three of us. 
My brother-in-law, my buddy. We're gonna run these over to the landfill. I'll show you what we got going on over here. And then I'll take you over to the property and show you what the property looks like. But right now, I'll show you what we're getting ready to do. That landfill opens at 8 o'clock at 7.30 now. So, my neighbor came over with his tractor, my other neighbor. And uh, between him and the two tractors, we loaded this truck plumb full. I mean, I think this is the most I've ever put on this truck. I'm hoping the thing even dumps. I know it's going to be a scary drive. And then, we put quite a bit on this truck. And this is my neighbor's truck. Old 60-something GMC. No, 60-something Chevy. Mine was a 71 GMC. But this thing's pretty well full. That thing's full. So we're going to run those. We're going to run those out to the landfill here and uh, get them emptied out. And uh, when I get back, I'll take you to the property and show you what the property looks like. We had a baby. Probably weighs as much as my <laughs> All three of us. Out here waiting for this guy. You're late, Charlie. Out here at the landfill. All three of us on a row. <laughs> All right, here we go. First one on the scale. I don't have weights on these things, so I don't have a clue what they weigh. We'll go. everybody I'm gonna show you what we got accomplished where the building once was is no longer so we stacked all these good blocks up there's quite a few of them here there's some right here and there's a few over here but this big old building everything is gone it took us a while to get her taken down we two days one day to knock it down and one day to clean it up but the nice thing about it was free landfill fees no i didn't have to pay anything in the landfill so i made out like a smoking bandit on that one didn't have to pay a dime to take it down other than uh the damage to the tractor and i wrecked the truck today and at the landfill i'll have to show you that but uh yeah, uh, landfill fees didn't cost a dime, and then the fuel fuel doing all the work. So I'll go back to the house and I'll show you what I did to the truck. All right, I'm back at the house, and I'll show you what I, I did. All right, so this is the back of Steve's trailer now. I wadded up the bumper, crumpled up the tailgate, and broke the tail light. Not real bad actually, but I mean, it's broke and yeah, it's got a dent in it. The chrome, this piece can just come right off and the tailgate's fine. Didn't actually hurt the tailgate any. So, it's not too bad. But, the other truck is sitting over here. I would have filmed this, but when I hit that trailer, I was so aggravated, <laughs> I didn't even think about it. What had happened is, you seen in the video where we were all driving across the scales and the ranger was in front of me with that trailer. Well, we got around the metal pile after we got off the scales while the sun was in my eyes. He had stopped. This windshield is not very clean. Uh, it's got a dust layer on it, so in the sunlight it's really kind of hazy. So, as you can tell, the fender <laughs> is pretty bumpled in. Yeah, it rumpled in the fender. Caught it back down here. Shoved that whole fender back. Didn't hurt the bumper. The bumper is actually what stoved in the bumper on the uh, trailer. Didn't break the light, but tweaked the fender. 
but I mean that's all the damage it did it shoved the, the fender back into the door so the door cannot open I'm not gonna try to open it until I get this fender pushed back so between this oh yeah so as we after I hit them I went ahead I was, I was frustrated so I went ahead pulled in backed this truck up raised the bed dumped it or started to dump it and went to pull it ahead to shake the, the debris out of the bed the truck decided to run out of gas well when it ran out of gas it's got electric over hydraulic pump on it to raise the bed the battery went down and the radiator's got a hole in it you can smell the antifreeze i did not do that <laughs> That's been, been like that. So I'm going to look for a radiator for it anyways. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to fix this. I'm going to fix it. Between this damage, and I already showed you this morning, but and the damage I did on the tractor, uh, yeah, I just, that, that sucks. Because that ain't going to cost me nothing to fix but to my time. This lens headlight assembly, I don't know what it's going to cost, but it's shot and then this hydraulic hose down here on the back side it's blew out and then i don't know i'm probably not but this hose here is about ready to blow too so i might go ahead and replace those two hoses and fill it up with fuel and get a headlight assembly ordered for it so <sighs> yeah it is a tc90d new hauling so that's what I got to look for. TC9D. So that's what I'm going to look over on the internet. I don't know what year this tractor is. But, uh, yep. But it's been a video. I wish I would have, I wish I'd have had the phone out when I drove in the back of the dead chem trailer. I think that would have been something to see. But they always say, you never see what you do until after it's done. So. Y'all want to end this video here? Y'all have a great day and God bless y'all. You have a great day.